You've made me real mad. Uh, about what? What do you think? I know you were out on that lake with her. Makes me sick to think of you and her. Nothing happened. All right. Ain't nothing happened. Come on, fuck guy. Come on, pussy boy. You want to take a shot at me? Huh? Come on. What are you doing? Come on, country boy. Get up. Let's go. Are you paranoid or something? No. And I'm a little confused. Suppose you and her will be getting married now. What? It's a southern way. Man and woman as one. Make sacrifices to build equity in a future that has security. Why do you sound like a mutual of all my head? Fine. Joke it up. At least I was prepared to marry her. She's not in love with you, Hank. Okay. That's the only roadblock, though. Let me ask you something. Don't you think a guy's entitled to choose his own destiny? You know, whether it's in a small town or, or even in California, just that he shouldn't have it handed to him. Now, like it's a, uh, you know, uh, like a hat. Right, okay, good, like a hat. Your father wore it, your grandfather wore it too, and now you're stuck with it, only the damn thing is too small, you know? It just doesn't fit. I hate a tight hat. And there's a lot of hats out there, Hangster, and, and, and even if this one fits, and I'm not saying that it does, just hypothetically, how do you know it's the right one when you haven't even tried any others on? I sure haven't. 